Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is part of my Canvas tutorials video series that I have here on my YouTube channel. I will link it down in the description box, the entire playlist. If you missed any videos in the past, I'm adding to it every single week so I can help you teachers get online in a fast, fun, and calming way. So in this video, I am going to be showing you how to weight your grades. Now I did do a video a few months back about grade book and speed grader I'll link that below for you as well. But as we all know, Canvas is updating constantly and so I'm trying to keep up as fast as I can with the updates so you know what's happening and how it works to your advantage and if you'd like to use the new updates or sometimes not use the new updates. Let me show you how you can weight your grades in your classes. Now, of course, when you put everything in the grade book, it's automatically going to be there for you. If it's auto graded, it will automatically put into grade book, saving you time, but you might wanna weight your grades. Let me show you how to do that and kind of what it is, and that way you can see if it might be right for you. So here we are in a Canvas course. Go over to the left-hand side click on the assignments tab on the left. Then on the top right hand corner where you see the three dots or the hamburger as I call it, click on that. You'll see this pops down and I want you to click on assignment groups weight. This is gonna blow your mind because it's kind of hard to find at first. After you do that, you'll want to tick the box that says weight final grades based on assignment groups. And here it is. So. Let's say that you want to make sure that the, this is my act, one of my acting classes. Maybe I want the exercises, everything in the exercises to only be 15% of their total grade. Maybe I want the journal assignments to only be 10% of their grade. And then the bulk of it to be presentation days. So maybe this is, you know, 20%. I like to make it add up to hundred. Of course, you'll see the total at the bottom. Performance days, these are really, really important. So let me make that 25%. Um, this is their criticism paper. Maybe that's only going to be 10%. Coaching sessions, maybe that's going to be 20% as well. You can see the total is 100%. That's what I like to do personally. But you can see that I didn't count attendance in this class. It was 0%. Even though I, did, I took attendance and roll call was in my assignment, I set that assignment at zero and not counted towards their final grade so I could have attendance for my administration, but it didn't count towards their final grade. So this is a great way to weight their grade based upon the different groups that you have created. Okay, so that's one example. You would click save. So let me show you another example. This is a lecture-based course. Again, we're gonna go to the left-hand side and we're gonna click on assignments. Top right-hand corner, click on the three dots or the hamburger. After we do that, assignment groups wait. We will tick that box on and we will see everything here. So here's their attendance. I did have extra credit for some students in this class. Here's my quizzes and my exams, the performance analysis essay, essay that they had to do, and that's it. So in this class, when you're creating your grading breakdown and you're telling them 20% of your grade is the essays, 20% of their grade is the um, production papers or their essays, 20% is the quizzes, this is how you would do that so it weights it properly and automatically in Canvas. So here's an example I could do 25% a quarter of your grade is attendance, a quarter is quizzes, a quarter is exams, and a quarter is their essay papers. I would click save. After I click save, you're going to note that at the top right-hand corner over here of every assignment group, it's going to tell the student the total weight of the percentage of that group. So they know that their, their midterm and their final exams, which are under the exams, this grouping right here, under exams, the midterm and the final is going to only be 25% of their grade. The quizzes, even though there were four of them in this course, it's all of the quizzes added up are only gonna be 25% of their grade. So this is a great way to weight everything based upon groups. I hope this helps you. And if you need any more videos for tutorials, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I've got new ones coming out. Turn on the bell notification and that will let you know when I do have a new one out so you don't miss it. And I will link the playlist down in the bottom for you for online teaching tips that I have and also all of my other Canvas tutorial videos. I hope this helps you. Have a great week and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.